Okay, uh, so we will have something about differential diagnosis in pediatrics presented by your colleagues, Dr. Omar Bazaz from the mystery team. He asked me what to call name it, so <laughs> I suggested that. Okay, he starts. Okay, good morning, everyone. I'm delighted to present uh, this uh, differential diagnosis in pediatric, uh, but uh, because we are a mystery, we have surprises next week. So uh, I hope, but this case is, uh, this differential diagnosis is quite beautiful. So this is going to be fun, interactive. Everyone should participate. I will not oblige, like call Dr. Shirin or Rehan to participate. Everyone should do it. So first of all, uh, how you participate. Actually, everyone should raise his hand, whether it's normal and abnormal, and then afterward we will ask. So is it normal or abnormal? Is it abnormal? Raise your hand, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, most of them. Is it normal? Raise your hand. Okay, half of them said abnormal. Good. So what's abnormal? Who? Yes, doctor. Double bubble. Double bubble. Is it the only abnormality? The lung, which is more concerning. Okay, good. So there's, there is complete opacification of both lung fields, let's say, with, as the doctor said, double bubble. So which will be more concerning for us? The double bubble, right? Okay. Both of them are concerning, but this, I will tell you what's here. So this is double bubble. What is it in your mind? What will you say? First of all, comes duodenal atresia, but it, it should be duodenal atresia in all of cases? Yes or no? No. Yes. And we have others, duodenal web, stenosis, vulvula. So what we should do to this case is we should further evaluate, right? So we did something less invasive, safe, and available, right? We, we, we should do an ultrasound. So ultrasound showed the right lobe, the left, the portal vein, and the left lobe. Is it obvious? Yes. And uh, yes. So, uh, does anyone want to participate or anything abnormal? So, if, if, if there's double bubble, we suspect certain things. One of them is intestinal malrotation, right? So, uh, we look at the SMV and SMA, and this yeah. is the aorta. Is it normal or abnormal? Normal, who says normal? One, two. Very good, right. definitely. You should be confident. This is normal. This is uh, the SMV should be to the right, to the of SMA. But if it's anterior or to the left, then it's mal rotation according to the degrees. You know that. So now we excluded mal rotation safely with ultrasound. We don't need to do something else. But we saw something that is concerning to things. Inside the pancreas, there is something echogenic. You said this. Is it obvious? Okay. So what could be something echogenic inside the pancreas causing exactly, very good. This is bowel, encasement, or something suspicious. We trace it upward and backward. There is some endoluminal content, fluid-like. So we suspect it to be the duodenum. They did a CT scan for the patient and it was confirmed. Actually, you don't need to do CT scan. It was already confirmed by ultrasound, but this is a complementary case for you to see it. This is a case of annular pancreas, which uh, the pancreas actually fails the ventral butt to rotate with the duodenum, so the duodenum will encase the pancreas and there will be possibility of having it. So this is a nice case. The idea of this case is you see cases and we go differentials and step by step we go to diagnosis. So is it normal or is it abnormal? Complaint. Actually I don't have complaint because if I tell you it will be obvious. So just no clinical data. Okay. It's okay if, 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 if you don't think it's normal, don't say it. Ab an abnormal, one. Raise your hand, please. Who says abnormal? One, two, three, four, five, six. Half of the class, or m more than half. Who says it's normal? No hands. Okay, good. Well, 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 it seems to be normal, but it's not. Okay, it seems to be normal, but it's not. What's the abnormality? Anyone can catch it? Sutures, maybe. No, not sutures. Yes, it's, 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 it's not really. You are right, definitely. This is a good question. You should know the age of the patient to comment on the sutures. But there is something else. Very good. Abnormally shaped cella, which is called J-shaped cella. Yes, this is very important. Okay? 
So there's differential, right? Normal variant, a possibility. An optic chiasm glioma, maybe. A mild hydrocephalus, why not? Mycopolysaccharidosis, all of the types. Hurler and all. Achondroplasia, neurofibromatosis, pituitary mass. So what should we do? We should leave the patient and tell them that it's a normal variant or we should further inv investigate? Follow up or investigation? Further investigation, right? Because it's 5% to be normal. So, uh, okay. So, I think MRI will be indicated in this case. Good. So, this is a very interesting. Yes, MRI is quite indicated, but let's do something else. Do, uh, okay, let me show you the normal shaped cell. You see it? Uh, just, you know, to confirm. This from the next, uh, from the previous one. You saw it? It's obvious. Okay. So, uh, okay, we did further x-rays. This is this, uh, the spine, AP and lateral. This is the main concern for us, which shows... It shows... Well, there is beaking. Very good. Dr. Ahmed says inferior beaking, not central, because it's different. So there is beaking. This is number one. This, there's abnormality, hypoplasia of the vertebral bodies. You can see these are vertebral, they are not normal shape. You can say abnormal shape, hypoplastic, whatever it is. Then you go to define what you mean by hypoplastic or abnormal shape with beaking. So there is beaking, which is most of them are inferior, as obvious, and we have the differential diagnosis for it. We will come to this. We did the x-ray for it. There is something interesting here, which is called proximal pointing of the metacarpals. It goes to the one differential, and, and we will go to this in the, sorry, let me check, good. So differential diagnosis, is it Morchio syndrome, which is middle beaking? Is it lower third, which hurler, achondroplasia, pseudoachondroplasia, Down syndrome, etc., etc. Okay, Morchio middle, remember like the central beaking, Gormoy, this is the only one that has this beaking, others are lower. So this is not Morchio for sure, it goes with lower other. This is Morchio. You see, this is central, tongue-like, beaking, just to show you. Okay. And our case was what? Was hurler, typical hurler or mycopolysaccharidosis. Mm -hmm. It's anterior beaking. Well, the idea of this is just to give differential, but our case is hurler. Just for fun, yes. this was my board exam, the Jordanian board by Dr. Walid Mahama. The same case. Uh -huh. Hurler, mycopolysaccharidosis with the brain mm -hmm. first, then uh, then uh, LSS, then uh, as you presented, exactly. <laughs> okay, good. The same sequence. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. We passed. Okay. We have another case, and um, this is a little bit easier, right? So, what do you think? Normal, abnormal? Let me hear. Do you have Abnormal. Good. Okay. What is the abnormality? Well. Flattening of the iliac wings bilaterally on the AP view. Not you, doctor. <laughs> of course, you will know it, definitely. But uh, uh, the, first of all, the, the, you know, the vertebral bodies are abnormal, right? You agree to that. Okay, there is abnormal shape in the anterior to be open. Scalloping is different. It's, it's, it's a kind of beaking, but it's not typical, but it's beaking, right? It's not central. It's lower and upper, both of them, but it's more lower. There is associated as. There is something important. What, what, what more? Very, very good. This decrease in interpedicular distance. Of course, the, each one, so the, we go back to our case, lower third beaking with decrease. This is the thing that Dr. Ahmed talked about, which is the hypoplastic iliac wings, or what is called the tombstone appearance. Tombstone is, means what? Exactly, it means tombstone, this one. The, okay, so this is, Characteristic of achondroplasia. Very good. Decrease interpedicular state, anterior beaking with this tombstone appearance. It goes with, with what, the, one of the most common skeletal dysplasia, dysplasia which causes in dwarfism. Okay, the last case, which is interesting, and it has, you know, the patient had uh, a J shaped cell, I think, or, yeah. No, no, the patient has anterior beaking as well. So now, if you go to the differentials of anterior beating and this, what do you think is? Uh, well, there's something more obvious. Who knows? This is abnormal, right? 
very good, which is called, and they're making mouth sign. It, it comes in Down syndrome. Yes. Thank you so much. I hope you liked it's a little bit interactive and uh, we showed you some signs. Thank you very much. It's a very nice, short, focused, rapid, interactive kind of presentation, which we all like. So, any